All right, the map is Classic World, and these are the bonuses, 5, 2, 5, 3, 7, and 2, and we're the black player, third in the turn order. And this blizzard does nothing, and this blizzard doesn't do much, but this blizzard makes into a 1-2 point hold for North America, and a 1-2 point hold for both Americas. And it also makes into a 1-2-3 point hold for Europe as well, so nice blizzard there. The red player looking very strong for Africa, maybe they want Africa, or maybe they want to move this way, or into this way, but they don't really care about this. I think the white player might just get that, that being South America. We're actually extremely strong for North America, 6 here, 7 here, there's only 7 enemy troops in our way. We have darn near a god spawn if not a god spawn purple leaving as well the white player is just going to get around one south america for free that's terrifying i'm gonna stack these right here the white player will see me hit this but they won't know oh, okay good dice there and i want to make it so you guys don't necessarily know that i have this right away the blue player might figure it out but we'll see what we can do with all of this let's fortify this right over to here. Hopefully the white player doesn't hit here. Around one North America would be insane, but it's also very probable that the blue player or the white player break it if they figure out that I have it, or if they just want to get a card on the cheap here. Okay, quick hit over there. That's, are you a bot? You, the blue player bought it out. I don't know why. Maybe they don't like their spawn points, but that's fine. We still have four players in the lobby. That's plenty. Five for the white player. Hopefully they're focused. Here's the thing. They might want to hit here they, they might split, hit this, hit this, but also attack here before they go. Hopefully they just hit here and hit here and then like fortify back to here and protect the South America. Please don't hit me. Oh, they're, hit, they're trying to hit for a card. Wait, if they're trying to hit for a card, that means they're going to hit me for a card, right? I need them to su succeed in getting a card somewhere so they don't break me. Oh, they attacked over here. Fantastic. That means they can't break me. Literally around one North America. That's ridiculous. Three troops for the red player. I imagine the white player grabbed this and probably fortified over here. Here's the thing. Do I go bad neighbor with the white player? Or do I just push through and grab both Americas? Ooh, that's a big hit from you over there. That big red stack going into Europe is what you want. Three troops for the purple player. They're going to stack them down here, maybe to grab a card. I could use this to get a card next turn, maybe. Ooh, purple might want that. Don't hit my three. I need that for card grab. It's, I, got, I guess this guy could stack up here and hit that for a card. They're attacking around in Africa. Eight troops for us is huge. Here's the question. Do I greed? I mean, somebody could break me this way. I could stack a few here, hit the white player out of here. Do I go bad neighbor with them now or later is the question. I think we make sure oh, we go bad neighbor now for, for content. We go bad neighbor now for content. We hit this over here. And okay, kind of regret that a little bit. And then we fortify this into here. I regret that. They have seven troops there. I should have expected them to have seven. Um, if they get three car, three troops, 10 v 10, they might break me next turn. But then after that, I, uh, I, I reclaim it. And I don't think there's a lot they can do about it. But I think I should have gone good neighbor for a turn or two. So I have more troops for trying to start this fight. Three troops them. Also, there's no guarantee that w they win the 10 v 10. I need them to do the 10 v 10, either lose or like, you know, only get enough to hit this and maybe break that. Oh, they're not even going to bother. That's crazy. They're just going to leave it. That tells me that this is an experienced player also. Not everybody uses this right here. I think this person is, uh, they're going to like try and fight for second place. And they are, they attacked out. What are you doing? Are you just giving up and attacking somebody else? I'm just confused now. They're attacking out all their troops, I guess. I guess they're giving up and just not hitting me, the guy who sabotaged them. I don't understand what, the way some people's brains work. I just don't get it. But we're about to have ourselves a nice uh, two point hold on both Americas for a plus seven is nuts. This is my first match of the day. Got done playing Territorial Isle, plus three for the purple player. Just got done playing some Territorial Isle, fired up some risk, and just gonna get a nice, easy win throughout the bat. You love it. Uh-oh, my luck might not hold true. Purple, oh, you're gonna break me, aren't you? Oh, you're slow rolling? No, they don't break me. That's huge for us. And they fortify out. Love that, love that. Let's put uh, a couple over here for defense to be stronger over there. Put more over here. And let's just go ahead and round one, North America. Round two, both North America and South America. I could try to kill guard the white player if I want to, but I'd rather just go ahead and get my beautiful round two. It's so, I don't think, some of you that are newer players might not understand how rare this is. Blue stacking three over there. It's very rare to be able to hold both of these, but to get both of them by the second round is insanely lucky and insanely rare. Absolutely crazy. Five troops for the white player. They grabbed Australia, and that's why they left. I guess they got like a cheap and easy free Australia over there. Okay, works for me. Oh, hello. Yeah, you're looking to see if I'm an easy thing to break, or you're just getting a card. 
plus three for red. Mmm, early card trade. Why? Also, that's another avatar that's a little more rare, so you might be a bit more experienced. Spend some money in the game, maybe? I mean, sometimes you could be brand new, just dump money into it. I also think there's an Xbox Pass that gets, like, free skins, maybe. Plus three for purple. They oh, Obviously, they don't have Africa. I can see right here they don't have it, right? Card trade. Okay. So, I mean, we know white has all of this. They probably have this and this. The, I think the blue bot's probably been pushed out of here. Uh, purple's attacking a lot. What am I getting that bot kill? 11 troops for us is crazy with it. I'm not going to card trade here. I'm going to, like, I'm scared of you over there, white players. And I also need to get a card and get more vision on the board. And I'm not going to hit the, the red player there. We are going to chill out there. Take it easy. We got a plus seven, but to really get the value from that plus seven to turn of this 10 total, um, actually, I think 11 because I have this, I need to uh, hold it for several turns to really get that weight advantage. Boom. Over there, blue hit and purple. Plus three purple broke you. That, that's crazy. Did purple try and yoink? This match has been so free and I love it. This, what a great match to wake up on, just to start your day off with. Just a freebie of a banger. Most days for me aren't like this. Most of the time I have to work for my wins. I mean, great, it's not a guaranteed win. It's progressive if the red player or somebody chain kills, like takes the bot and the white player, then the purple player all in one go. On progressive, they could easily beat me here. I need to get some vision on the board and get some kills. I think the white player is botting out. That would be my guess. Yeah, they're definitely botting out, all right? Well. Now it's just myself, red and purple, and two bots. You don't have Europe yet, which is crazy. Mystery turn from the red player, and purple did indeed yoink Australia from the white player, so the white player is here, here. Red could be kill guarding something in there for all day. We should try to get a kill now, unless you're about to get the kill. Try to get the kill on the, the white player, maybe blue as well. I mean, that's seven cards. No, you got the kill for three cards. Okay, well played, well played. I could have been scouting the board more. This is where I gotta be careful. If purple chains another kill, if, you, if, if they came the ch if they kill a bot here, okay, good. If they kill the bot there, I would be in big trouble, I think. I need to try and get this bot kill here if I can. I could have card traded right away, but I don't think the bot's gonna have that many troops. And I need to go ahead and sweep this up right now. Need to find where this bot's hiding at. Are you... That's the end of the bot, fantastic. That'll give me a double card trade. Then we'll go for the... Uh, I think the red player looks... The red player looks kind of weak. Give us this. And then give us this, and let's stack these over here. The red purple doesn't have that many cards though, so let's go for purple actually. Go for purple right now, should be plenty here to get the job done. We hit into here, I don't know how much you have hidden in that last spot, so I'm just gonna go ahead and send everything in. Okay. You never know, there's a world where they could have had, um, like, ten sit in the back spot just to, like, throw people off with a clever play. Turns out they did not do that, but that's gonna be a nice other elimination right there. And your five cards gives me another card trade. Will that be enough to take out the red player? Let's find out. Can we do a nice triple elimination in one turn? Almost had a quad. You've been spending all your troops trying to grab Europe. Holy crap! Can't let that exist. All right. We don't get you this turn, but we do um, mess you up quite a lot. And you don't have a card trade, so we'll get you next turn. Just stack that right there. Protect my bonuses, but I mean, it doesn't matter, right? We've won. They grab a quick card, 30 troops, and a big old juicy card trade as well. This has been probably one of the easiest wins I've ever had in my life. Let's go ahead and take them out of here. Nice big hit like this, like this, and that, and that. Give them a, a good game, and well played. And let's do another match after this one, because this one was just so quick and easy. That was free. And there it is. You'll love to see it. GG next match. All right, the map is reverse world, and these are the bonuses. Three, four, five, seven, four, three, seven, five, three, and four. And we're the black player, fourth in the turn order. And this map is basically the land and water are inverted. And this blizzard blocks off this from over here. Let me guess that connects over there. But it makes this into a one, two, three, four point hole for this plus five. Purple's going right there. This is a one, two point hole for this plus three in Eastern Arctic is kind of nice because of these blizzards. Purple's going for the middle. They try to hit that four. That's crazy. Purple's probably a beginner or a novice. That's a crazy play, taking a five before. This blizzard doesn't do a lot right here. I guess it uh, makes it into a one, two, three point hold instead of a initially five. It's not bad for that plus four, three point hold. This is a one, two, three point hold for plus five, and that corner is really nice, actually that blizzard. This blizzard here blocks that across there. You still have to guard that from over there, but this is, becomes a one, 
to three point hold for, so that's not great. Three point hold for plus three. This is a two point hold for plus three is not too shabby. Green gets that first turn. This seems to be the best one that nobody so far is going for. I'm kind of strong for it. I got four troops in there. Three right here. I could, I'm actually kind of one of the stronger people for this unless blue wants to go in for it. I'm blue. Where do I want to go? They've got, I mean, they got seven over here. They might go for this. Yellow wants to go over here for this, uh, plus four over here, which is a one, two, three, four, five, six point hold. You bought it out. Okay, so yellow's a bot. Good to know. Hard to get people to actually stick around in the lobby, huh? Eh, we got four. That's fine, though. Five troops for us. Can we get this this turn? No, there's two, four, six, seven troops in the way. I've got three here. Also, this bonus exists. This is a one, two, three point for plus four. I think what we do is we get these troops into here and then stack a couple here to keep this thing alive and let people know that we're going for this one and... I'm not sure Blue would understand if I asked them to move that out of the way. I've got things connecting over here. Oh, I didn't realize. Uh, the two first or the four first? Let's do the two first onto this to keep that alive. And then next turn, we move that through. I could move that two first, actually, and got saved more. We're really nice for this. It'll take a few turns, but we're real nice for that one. Blue, think about what they want to do. They're going over here. If they slap that two, it's not the end of the world. It's only one troop that I could have saved. It's not that big of a deal. And then next turn, we can just, you know, fortify this in somewhere. Can I grab this next turn? I mean, maybe, but I'd be pretty weak to defend it. Blue wants to hold more territories to hopefully get an extra troop for having uh, 13 territories that keep it above 12. They get an extra troop for free. Good play. I think it was four troops for the purple player. What was it four? Yeah, it was four troops over there. Okay. Going right there. Gonna hit down and go for this bonus. No, that's right, you go over here, that's fine. What is that for you? That is a plus three on a, a one, two, three, four point hold is crazy, but if nobody fights you for it, could effectively become a no point hold, right? Six troops for the green player, looking nice over there. Oh, you're gonna fight me. No, you just want a card. Oh, that's fine, I'm fine with that. And then you can go for that bonus over there. I mean, you hitting my one here for a card is kind of stinky for me because uh, then I get one less troop next turn, which you might be doing on purpose, but uh, not the end of the world. Ah. Uh. Over there, huh? You want to keep your stacks available across the world. Four troops for the bot. I'd love to see the bot contest you over here. That'd be nice. The bot's working on that bonus. Okay, and they're attacking out. I mean, just so much for me getting an extra troop for having 12 territories. So that's a bit rough for us. But we'll be fine. If we can just get this, we're in a good spot. Green's going to have to break this bot over and over, but I mean, just that's just easy card trade for them, right? They've got one, two, three spots to do it, plus three for us. I can put uh, one here to hit that, and then actually, uh, hmm, I don't think we get this turn, unfortunately. We stack these here. We hope to get this get purple out of here. Nice. We hit over here. I mean, with amazing dice, we could get it. Lost none. We try. Oh. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh, that hurt real bad. 93% chance lost <laughs> all four of them. Ouch. Oh, well. It would have been real nice to have that bonus, considering Green's already had there for, for a couple turns, but, well, we'll be all right. Oh, he wins a 6th V3, but I can't win a 5 V1? Or 5 V2? Fail. Fail it like I did. Fail it like I did. Fail it like I did. Oh, come on, man. It's not fair. Here's the thing. I could break you pretty easy. Not that I want to go to war with you early in progressive. The one downside of... I like progressive because it's faster matches, but the one downside of progressive is breaking somebody when you have, like, an advantage. Because next turn, I could easily grab this and then break them. And if it wasn't progressive, they wouldn't be able to do a lot about it. But in progressive, it was a death sentence to go to war early if they're the grudge holding type, which 90% of the player base is. That's only fair, though. My last match, we were, like, crazy stupid lucky. So we used up all our good luck in the first match. In this match, we're having terrible luck. I don't like green stacking over here. Green's trying to, like, hold their bonus and then block other bonuses, I think, is their play. They're actually fairly easy to break from back here, but it's a plus three. Who cares, right? I think their goal is just to be hard to eliminate by stacking everywhere. Oh, you're going attacking a little bit extra. I wonder why. Four troops of the bot should attack one more territory, right? I mean, the fact that the bot's not close to me is going to be useful. The bot's so dumb. Attack with a five. and <laughs> Get this. Go back to your territory and force green to break you again. Three troops for us. Let's actually get this this time. Thank you very much. Luckily, green didn't stack in my bonus, so happy about that. Um, I'm going to go good neighbor with blue and hope they don't break me. If they do, well, that's mutually assured destruction is what that is. They could easily break me here. I chose not to. I'm hoping to go good neighbor with them. That's pro possibly asking quite a lot, but I could have easily broken them, made, made them only get, uh, you know, hit here and then hit another one. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna break me, aren't you? What if I were to give you the hearts? Give you the hearts. Okay, you want to stack two more of me? That's fine. I don't mind that. You do have a, 
uh, one, two, three point defense over here. Push through this, it'll be a one. Oh, you have a, this will be a one. No, no, you gotta defend this because of this. It's a one, two, three point for both your bonuses. Ooh, bad dice over there for you. F fail, 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 nice. Or you failed, uh, two of you, no, don't you hit me, don't you, no. Ho oh, ho ho ho, baby! Should try that 2v1 or that 4v1. Ha ha ha! Guess who's getting broken next turn, buddy boy? It's you. Green and purple must be laughing over here. I guess I should have broken them, but at least now I feel justified in messing them up because, well, they started it. I mean, how many trips did I lose? Three? That's not bad. Oh, purple, don't you come and break me too. No, purple. Yeah, yeah, go that way. Try to grab this bonus. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that. We're having a bit of, we're having a, bit of a rough go with this match, but we'll see if we can come back and win this. They want that bonus, huh? I'd love to have some more territories. Losing that right there and missing out on five troops that one turn was a big, big problem for us. Huge, huge problem. And unfortunately, we have to, like, blue is uh, an absolute, based on what blue did that last round, they're a novice. They could have just taken that 4v1, or beginner, uh, so... We can't let them hold a bonus next to us because they've shown they're more than happy to start a fight with us. So we 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 forever stack inside this and don't ever let them hold that. And they can try and grab that or just self-destruct against me forever. And we hope the bot, maybe green and purple fight or the bot slows them down. I'm down to 16 troops. This this is not good for us. Eight troops for us. They all go here. I'm not going to card trade early. We're going to break you. And I'm going to take away... Uh, I don't want to free that five of path to come back towards me. I could hit this. You know what? You can get the extra one troop for everyone. I mean, what's that three going to do? What's that th I, want you to have, I want you to have one less troop to put down next turn. And uh, see what you can do with three troops. You could car trade here. That's a thing. I mean, I am doing... Uh, we're doing it right here. I mean, if you hit here and hit this in and we'll see, we'll see. Oh, you bought out? All right, that's, I mean, that's that's not the end of the world, frankly. I can deal with that. Um, it means you're not going to be car trading and self-destructing on me. Um, I can play differently knowing that you're a bot. So it's just uh, myself, bot here, bot here. Green's holding this, which is not that big of a deal, and stacking to be hard to eliminate. And the purple is just everywhere. So we can, I, I can actually push out from this, I think. If I try to grab both of these, it's a, if I hold it right here, it's a one, two, three, four, five point hold. That's a bit much. That's a lot. Purple's in the best position right now because they can expand a lot. Nobody's even fighting them. I have to deal with the blue bot. They have to deal with the yellow bot. Purple doesn't have to deal with anything. They stack them all right there. They're done stacking around. They're happy with sixes around the board. I need to chill out now. And what, I could, I could try, do I grab this? If this goes through here, hold up. It's it's only one extra point to hold. I go from a one, two, three point hold into a one, two, three, uh, you know, four point hold. This moves over to these two. Um, yellow bot stacking over there is weird. That gives me an extra same amount of plus four here is plus four here. I do need to keep constantly breaking the bot, and I have, I have to get green out here is the problem. Mm. It is less troops to go through this, and less points to hold. What if we uh, worked towards that, but don't do it right away? Work towards it, don't do it right away. Stack here, because the bot could try to break us there. I need to get a card somewhere. Let's do... Oh, I mean, I could just... The, but the bot's going to be a problem anyway, so I don't, I don't want to feed the bot kill, but I don't want the bot around me. Uh, we're going to stack uh, these here and you know, all these here we're going to hit over into this we move three then we're going to fortify this out of the bots here the problem is i need i have multiple things i need to fortify i need to fortify this forward i wanted to fortify this back i need to move this out of the bots area especially with what like when i know they have a card trade we do not if they have three cards or more when this turn's about to start i don't want to have anything in there because they could card trade and hit me whereas if i'm back over here they probably leave me alone. This bot's doing all right, though. I really wish the green player wasn't here. I wish they would leave here, move out for there or something. Hmm, man, this bot's... The bot is strong and they're stacking hard against me. Eight troops for the purple player, though, and a card trade on five. And they trade in eight troops. Okay, I need to break you. Can I, like, go through here, here, here and break you? I can. And it's only going through six troops instead of 12. It's actually better for me. Although, it's, I mean, I don't... I don't want to weaken the blue bot up too much because... You'll get the. Well, I need these things cleared out of here. Um, I mean, I have this down here. Wait. Oh, you slapped green six and they're mad about it. I mean, you gotta expect that, man. You gotta expect that. I mean, I guess I could try to eliminate the bot. They've got 37 troops, though. I need this blue bot gone, frankly. Six for the green player. 10 troops from the card trade. Means I should be getting, what, 12, I think? Oh, don't stack to my area. All right, come on, green man. You gotta, you gotta know that we wanna grab more bonuses. Move that out of there. Stacking over there because you're worried about getting broken from behind. 
Stacking big over there for like lining up on the bot elimination. Purple's holding so many territories. Purple's running away with it right now. I mean, actually, you, you're both kind of even. Three for the yellow bot. Fortune is blue bot is. The blue bot and green are screwing me over right now. I guess I could try to grab this, but that's like too much. The bot reclaims its bonus. I mean, green's reaching the point where they could take out yellow for cards soon. I need to card trade here. And yeah, that'll be fine. Do I want to hit the blues? Tw 12? I don't really do. Um, but I also need to make sure you don't hit me. So I don't think you'll hit that. That leaves me this made to go through here. This will have to do. I can actually hold over here as, as much as I can hold in there, right? Let me hit over here like this and uh, only send four. This goes and breaks the bots so and I get that bonus next turn. And what do we fortify? Fortify this three over here. The bot will hit that three there, but you know, whatever. Uh, waste some of their troops, right? And I wanted to fortify this forward and get stronger over here. Yeah, I mean, it's either I fortify that back and only lose one troop there instead of three, or I leave a three there just forever doing nothing, right? All right, let's hope they might have lost more than one there. We'll have to keep breaking this bot, unfortunately. Oh, purple's over there just laughing. I'm 1v1 wanting a bot. Green's 1v1 wanting a bot, and purple's just getting away with murder. If I really wish green was just not here. Just get them out of here so I could grab this bonus while also breaking the bot. I'm going to have to be, like, once the car trades get big enough, I'm just going to have to force them out, I think. Purple's really strong over there. That's a problem. Mm, if if you don't, if I take my turn and you take your turn and don't car trade on three, the next round I can double, I can take you out for double elimination. It could be good. Green car trades on three, either for safety or to try and get a kill. I think probably for a kill. I mean, go for the kill on yellow right now. If they don't go for the kill on yellow right now, maybe I do. Because, you know, if yellow doesn't car trade on three. Yeah, they're going for the kill on yellow right now. And that will give them... Three extra cards, they'll end their turn on four cards and probably about 60 or so troops. So they're lower, they're weaker than purple right now. Hopefully they'll want to work with me against purple. The fact that they're like doing multi-stacks across the board tells me they're somebody who's either watched some videos or who's played the game a lot. Because it's kind of like the meta strategy for Sweat Lords is I'm going to put a pile here and a pile here and a pile here and be hard to eliminate. I need to get the kill on blue. You're going to break purple. I love that. I love that. Maybe purple's a beginner and they get mad at you for breaking them. While I can, while I I won't be one the bot, while you won't be one purple, I'm okay with that. Eight troops for me. I could car trade here. Twenty. Uh, for th uh, I'd rather. I mean, if you car tra if you car trade, you'll have twenty five. Be thirty seven. I think I need to take you out. Let's take. You know, we take a chance. I don't. Um. Let's do. If you over here to break you, I'm gonna car trade for safety. Frankly, uh, it'll make your car trade bigger if you have one, but. I need to make sure this bot doesn't uh, card trade and then break me with a huge stack. So we need to make sure it's not too crazy over there. And that'll break you. Fortify this back over to here. The bot card trades for 25, gives them 37, 41. They try a 41 v 42 right here of the card trade. They might. Um, hopefully they don't have a card trade. I need the bot to not have a card trade. Yes, no card trade from the bot. I had to card trade for safety there because if I didn't and the bot did have a card trade on three, then they would have come in with like 24 troops right here and just slammed through and broken me. So we had to for safety. Also, what I'm doing here is unoffensive towards the purple and green player, the actual humans in the match. Unoffensive towards them. If the purple player gets all this cleared out here, that's great for me. It'd be a good, good move from like the purple player to slap me out of there or for green. Oh, baby, this is great for me. You guys, realistically, these two should just like go to be peaceful with one in, with one another and line up to get the kill on the blue bot while, you know, while I'm over here struggling a bit. What they don't want to do is go to war early, but they are going to war early. This is great for me because green probably has a card trade on four and they're going to just get revenge on uh, them. And I and then when my turn comes around, I can take out this bot would give me immediate card trader after I take them out. That'd be fine. Card trade of 30. They did the card trade for it's usually around 8% chance of getting card trade. You might hear some card noises. My neighbors are extremely noisy. OK, they turned it off. Good. Doesn't matter what time of day I record. It's like I don't like 2 a.m. right now. Noisy cars. There is no quiet time to record it, unfortunately. So you are... Are you going to try and take me out? Oh, you cheeky thing. Are you going to try and take me out? I have one card. I don't think that's the play. You might try to take out uh, blue. You're 30... You're like a 40 stack there. Your 22 comes through. I mean, you. they could take me out, maybe, but then they would just lose to purple. Because they only get one card for taking me out. Yeah, they're going to get revenge on purple here. Took their sweet time to do it, too. 
But they're going to get revenge on purple. Ooh, okay, green's a sweat. Oh, they're lining up to eliminate either me or the bot. I need... Oh, I need to get the bot kill here. I need... Here's the thing. I don't know if I have enough. Pathing unfortunate. Um, do these here. These here. It's the six. That might be a problem for me. We need to have enough for this. I don't know if I put enough troops around here for this. We'll see. Gotta do a split here. And hit this. And I need to take out this. I'm not, I don't, I don't, this might not happen here, frankly. Um, oh, finally, a bit of luck. We need to hit this as well. Hit this over here. I'm gonna put three, not sliding properly because we're running out of time. They're saying, oops, I, did I feed a kill? Did I feed a kill? You're saying oops like I messed up. I didn't, I didn't mess up. I didn't mess up, I got the kill. Oops, as in, like, you just screwed up and aren't getting the kill? Give me this. Can I take somebody out here? Green for two cards? It's not worth it. Um, let's do... Let's play defensively here. A little here for defense. Oh, a little here for defense. Um, a lot here for defense. Let's fortify this back over to here. I didn't, I left a weak spot there. I messed up. It'll be okay. I mean, at this point, if they really want to break me hitting 11, at this point in the game, hitting a 9 or 11 to break me is not, frankly, that big of a deal. If we're lucky, these two keep fighting each other, although they might have pieced up. They might have truced up a bit here. If green had four cards, I don't think I could have taken them off if I wanted to. I... I'm ahead on the card trade in here. Purple and green seem to have, like, made some kind of, like, peace with each other. I'm in the lead for the moment. One card ahead of these guys, my troops count slightly higher. The problem is now it's a 1v1v1, and now it's the political game of, you know, not angering people. Plus eight troops for you. Green is very much the kind of person, I think, who would let bygones be bygones with the purple player. Let's see, are you going to break me? You're hitting the four. I don't care about a four. You are going to break me. I can't believe you would do that. I can't believe you would do that. That's insane. That is insane. <laughs> uh, where, uh, what's, uh, I, I really want to email here. The green player, I think, is mad that I took the kill from blue on them. And I think they're, they're playing for second place. I think they're playing for second place. No card trade in three is a problem for me. I get three troops for us. Yeah, you're toxic. I'm going to mute you. Good game. Yeah. All right. I don't understand why the green player has decided th this was anybody's game. I could have won this, green could have won this, anybody could have won this, but uh, green has decided that they want... Uh, I, I guess they're mad that I took the kill that I've been working towards the entire game. I don't understand what they're... I guess, I guess they decided they're not going to win and they want me to not win for whatever reason. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's not making it easier for me to get eliminated. I don't understand why... This, I don't I understand. doesn't make any sense. Um, you know, let's go ahead and just do this, why not? If greens decided that purple wins, then purple wins. I don't, I don't, I don't understand why, wh what the psychology, what did I do to you at all ever? What did I do to you at all ever? And it's not really fortify. All right. Hopefully purple goes for green and not me. I don't, I don't understand why green did that. I never attacked them once. I never even hit this stack. Purple's the one that broke their stack in here. Purple's the one that hit them here. This is like, it's kind of like that last match where uh, I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Some people, you just can't understand them. This was a even 1v1v1. We were all very, very even. Any one of us could have won this, but they broke me. Were they mad that I didn't like attack purple and break their bonuses? I don't get it. I mean, could, to be fair, this could be literally a, a 10 year old with, you know, 65 IQ for all I know. They're gonna go through attacks on my bonuses. No, they don't card trade. No card trade in four is just emotional devastation for us. All right. Well, Let's go ahead and uh, let's be hard to eliminate, frankly. That way they go for green. They might go for me for cards. Um, oh, we'll have it. Maybe I think green's hoping to get second place here. I don't know. Let's go ahead and hit this and uh, fortify this over to here, I guess. I don't know. Purple probably takes me out for the five cards. Maybe that's green strategy. Don't card trace that way. Purple wants to hit me for cards. I don't know. My strategy here in a 1v1v1 where one player decides to self-destruct on you, your goal is to get second place. Purple might be going for me. Yeah, they're going for me. All right. But the thing is, I am on 23 different territories, so it might be tricky for them to get me unless they take their actions quickly, which well, they kind of are. They could screw up their pathing. I think they screw up their pathing. They're just trying to break my bonuses. That's fine. I can, uh, if, if green doesn't card trade here, are you going for green? They're just trying to break my bonuses. 
I can card trade, take out green, and get second place. If purple's really bad, maybe I can outplay them. It seems very unlikely. Purple just left this whole match uncontested. Didn't have to fight any bots, didn't have to fight any players. When they started the fight with green, green barely fought back, and then green just self-destructed on me for... because I, I dared to get a kill on the bot. You killed the yellow bot, why can't I kill the blue bot? Okay, they're actually attacking out a little bit. No, they bought it out. They bought it out like the petulant child that you are. Here's a thought. I could leave the... Uh, I mean, uh, kill the bot for four cards or leave the bot in to help me fight purple. Hmm, it's a tough choice. Three troops for us. Give us this. Thank you. Uh, they'll have to do. Um, guarantee the second place, I guess. Let's go ahead and stack this right here. And... Do I even want to go try to reclaim bonuses? I don't know that I do, actually. I think the strategy is just to kind of do some damage here. G guarantee the second. Maybe we can uh, somehow... I'll play purple here. It seems unlikely. Um, oh, this pathing is atrocious. And hit here. Like this. Hit you. Drop that. We hit over here. We hit here. We hit here. Of course, there's a giant 31 stack there. I could... A card trade here resets the card timer, gives me more time. We do this, we card trade, there's a lot of troops. Maybe I can do something here. Need to keep some troops stacked. That's a big stack, though. Wish I could have kept that pinned. If I can break all your bonuses, maybe. Gotta go quick here. Don't free that 28 stack. I think there's a world where I can do something here, actually. Uh, you, go over here. Get all these things. Um, freeing that 6 is fine. Don't free the 28. Maybe we can do something. Kind of back in this, actually. Honestly, maybe? Maybe? Don't f uh, the 17 is actually trapped. You've actually got a lot of trapped troops. 28 is trapped. 17 is trapped. You can break this regardless. I have nothing to break over here. Let's just fortify this over to here. Uh, they've got 69 troops and a card trade of 5. I've got 70 troops. I've got 46 territories. We might be in this. A card trade on 4, and we have a chance. Unless this guy takes out everything in a single turn here. I've got a card trade on 4. We ha there's that. We could actually come back and win this. If we survive green self-destructing on us and come back to win this, that would be crazy. What do we need to do? We need to stack... Uh, I should have tried to reclaim this bonus, actually. I should stack, uh, like, put 10 here to make sure we can clean out all of this. And then... Uh, we could uh, leave this 17 pinned, leave that 28 pinned, and then d come back through all of this. Or, I mean, stack some here to, like, break, like, stack 25 here, hit this, hit this, hit this, leave the 28 pinned, depending on what you fortify. We might be in this. We might be in this. If we win this, it's crazy. 23 over there, 18 troops for us, and a card trade is massive, huge for us. Uh, let's put the 10 over here. I can actually go through and damage your stuff a lot here. Let's go ahead and get this cooking over here. I think uh, press the red button on my keyboard here to attack these out. Okay, did I put more than I needed? Possibly. There we go. Let's go ahead and hit this over here, like so. You can actually see the board better. Give us all of this, all the gains. We are in this. We are in this. We are in this. We are in this. We hit you. All the value, all the strength. You might have another card trade, something I need to be aware of. How do I have 51? I might just push through you some more here. Depends on the dice. Uh, 30. Do I break you and free that 28? I don't break you and free the 28. What I do is I split some of this over here like that. If you don't have a card trade on three, you're in for a rough time. No card on trade. Uh, card trade on three, it's an even match. No card trade on three, you're kind of... A rough spot. I could actually should have fortified down here. What am I blocking over there? They just go that way, right? It's fine. I've got all this over here. No card trade on three is make, gonna make life real tough for you. You need to fortify that 28 out of there. That's fine. Bad dice, bad dice, bad dice. All right, they got that. Should have fortified right there. I wasn't thinking, but that's fine. Keeping that 28 and that 17 stat. Keeping this and this trapped here is what's keeping me competitive here. They fortify out. 34 troops for us. No card trade. They want to do damage here. This 20 stack can handle this and break you. Let's not let you do that over there. Um, let's go ahead and hit this out of existence. You'll have a card trade next turn. I don't think I can take you out this round, but I can try. Uh, let's hit this over into here and get over this way. Leave uh, six over there. Should get the job done. It's five enough, maybe. Depends if you lose any rights. And hit over here. And I think we might be okay here. We might be okay. 
You have card trade on four is likely for you. Let's head over into here. And we hit this like so. Great dice there. We hit this, we hit this. And uh, good game. Well played. And in spite of the self-destruct! Voice crack. In spite of self-destruct, we still get that win. That's insane. There it is. You'll love to see it. And I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time. Unless you want to see the ranks. Green was a master. Why would you self-destruct on me, master? You could have won that match. How are you a master? I don't understand how you got to become a master when you just self-destructed a match that was extremely winnable for you. Undeserved master rank, frankly. Probably gets it by just stacking on capitals and card trading. But there it is. You'll love to see it. See you next time.